Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I have been playing with makeup all day. I've been putting makeup on, taking it off, lots of different things going on with my face, and it is time to take my makeup off. I'm in my snuggly jammies, partly because my building hasn't turned the heat on yet and it's cold in here. But I thought this would be a good time to do a little pampering, have a little spa treatment, and crack open my new gifty gift that I got for myself from the face shop. This is not my first time doing a review of a face mask from the face shop. I will put a link down below in the description bar to the one that I did before, which was a sheet mask video. But this time I'm going to be doing a non-sheet mask and I'm going to talk a little bit about the face shop. I'm going to talk a little bit about the product. We're going to open it up together and then I'm going to put it on and let you know how the experience was. I'm going to put timestamps for all of this down below so that you can skip forward to whatever part of the video is of interest to you. So let's start by talking a little bit about the face shop because it is both where I bought this product as well as the maker of this product. So the face shop started in Korea in 2003 and they now have over 20... 700 stores in 29 countries, I believe. They basically make affordable, high quality skincare that is all uh, Korean skincare and makes it available to the rest of the world. So what I quite appreciate about the face shop, and I've shopped there a couple of times, is I feel like you do get a lot of value for your money. So when I went and bought the products that I was buying, I purchased the uh, mask set that we're going to be cracking open in a little bit. I purchased a couple other items. Uh, I also got some uh, Apple Pop hand cream, a few things. So because I had bought a certain amount of product, I'm just gonna put this down now. Um, because I had spent over $35, I think it was, or $30, I also got a free product here. These are uh, multi-layer cotton pads. So basically they're cotton pads, but they're the kind that you see more in Korean skincare where they're the, let's crack this open, they're sort of the um, thicker square pads. So it's always nice to get these because I use them a lot and hey, I'm always up for some free product. They also always ask you what kind of skin you have and will give you some free samples. So I got here a Peat Miracle Revival Eye Cream, uh, as well as a whole sample of um, these uh, Yehudam products, so Revitalizing Eye Cream, some moisturizer, some toner, all of this, you always get a bunch of little free samples as well. So I like that you feel like you're being spoiled a little bit when you shop in there. For the product that I bought, I got the mini capsule mask set. Let's hope that's focusing there. And basically this is four different masks. You get 0.34 fluid ounces in each, and they are four wash-off packs that infuse flaky dehydrated skin with rich moisture. Each pack is formulated with different ingredients for different skin concerns, and you can pick and choose depending on your skin condition. So I've not opened this up yet, so let me do that and we can see together what it is. So in opening it up, you get the four little containers there and it seems you get an aloe, a honey, a pomegranate, and a rice. So they're little pots like this uh, and this costs $15 Canadian for these four masks which comes out to a little over $3 per mask which is pretty good for a one-time use mask. So in looking at this the aloe is soothing, the honey is moisturizing, the pomegranate is resilience and lifting, and the rice is brightening. So because I've been doing all kinds of makeup today, I think I'm going to use the aloe, which is the soothing mask, because I feel like my skin could use a little bit of soothing after being, I don't want to say tormented, but it's, it's had a lot of things going on and off of it today. I'm going to go and get the makeup off of my face and then come back and we will put this on together. My face is clean. If you're wondering what I use to remove my makeup, I use this product, which is the Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil. Uh, it's not my favorite cleansing oil. I do find it to be a little perfumed and it does sting my eyes a little bit, but I do prefer when I have a full face of makeup, especially a lot of eye makeup and mascara to use a cleansing oil because it feels like it dissolves the makeup a little bit more and does it with less tugging than you would do with a, um, 
uh, micellar water or a makeup wipe. After that, whether I choose to use a cleansing oil or a micellar water, I do go in with my Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser from Neutrogena. This is the foaming one just because I prefer it to foam. Didn't realize I was sort of promoting Neutrogena in this, uh, but this I've been using for probably about two years now. I really like it. I usually use it morning and evening and I put it on for a full minute so that it can really get in there and do its job and I find that it's not overly drying and I find that my skin really likes this. Now that we've done that, let's get into the mask. I have used a couple of aloe type products before and my skin does seem to respond pretty well to it. Ooh, this is sealed pretty heavily. Okay, so I was wondering if I was going to be able to maybe get one more than one um, use out of these but it doesn't look like it. If you actually look in here, if you can see it, it's uh, a little less than half full. There's maybe one third, well, maybe one half uh, full of actual product in here. It does smell nice. It's a very, very subtle aloe smell. I'm just gonna use my fingers to get this on my face. Ooh, that's a real <laughs> jelly feeling. very cooling too. Okay, you know what? I take back what I said. Even though it was only half full, this spreads out really well. You most likely could get more than one use out of this. Because I feel like I have very fully, like more than it needs, covered my face and there's still a little bit in there. But hey, because there's a bit in there, let's get it on my face too. Okay. Now that I'm looking incredibly shiny, <laughs> I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes as it says, and then I will be rinsing it off with some lukewarm water. I'm gonna go have myself some tea. I had the foresight to brew myself some uh, blood orange David's tea. I'm gonna have that while I relax, and I will be back after I've rinsed the mask off to let you know what I think. So it's all washed off of my face. It did stay there for a little longer than 10 minutes because I got a little sucked into watching a YouTube video, so it was maybe on for 12 or 13 minutes, but it feels nice. I mean, it really did feel like I just had a thick moisturizer on my face the time it was on for, and it extra feels like that because I did have a little bit of it on my hands after applying, and instead of washing it off, I just kind of rubbed it into my hands and then wiped my hands off a little bit on a towel, so I didn't actually clean it off of my hands, and it just feels like it moisturized. So it didn't feel like cooling or burning or anything. It just felt like I had a thick aloe cream sitting on my face for 10 or 12 minutes. Uh, I did find it was a little hard to get off, not crazy hard, but the issue is that it was completely see-through. So it was hard to tell where I had the mask off. I could mostly just tell from the texture because it's a very slippery gel kind of texture. So as I was splashing water on my face, I could sort of feel that it was still there around the outsides of my face. But I also feel like because it's basically a moisturizing gel mask, that it's not necessary to make sure you have all of it completely scrubbed, scrubbed off. It's just going to act like a moisturizer where there may be little bits of it left around my hairline. So I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, so overall, I enjoyed this. I think I am more of a non-sheet mask person because I feel like once I put it on, um, two things. I can sometimes get more than one use out of what they say is one use if I just use some of it. Uh, but also I feel like I can do some more things around the house and I don't have to worry about the sheet masks falling off. I also find that because I have eyes that are fairly wide set, when I use sheet masks, they often don't quite fit properly. It feels like they're sort of pulling over onto my eyes a little bit, and it can feel not uncomfortable, but not as relaxing as I would like it to be. So I do like with these um, gel masks, moisturizing masks, when I can just spread it on and then it's easier for me to sip my tea, uh, to relax, and I really enjoyed this. So I am really looking forward to using the other four. Uh, let me know if you want my reviews of those as well. What I would probably do is uh, a combo video for the other three to see if they look or feel any different than the first one. What I will also do, because I'm filming this a number of days before I plan on posting it is I will put in the description bar down below if I noticed that the mask broke me out, if I noticed anything the next day, because I do feel like mask reviews often leave out um, if your skin reacted to it 
afterwards. So if there was any kind of reaction, I will put that in the description bar down below so that we can uh, share that information together. If you enjoyed this, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe, I'll make my face pop up right here. Um, if there are other masks that you would like me to try, maybe some cooler, unique skincare kinds of things, leave it in the comments down below. I do respond to every comment that I get. And I will also put a old video up here, maybe my old face mask video, so that you can go and watch that. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!